stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus, DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. This is the Salvation Army, and I'm Major George Patterson to let you know that the Salvation Army is available 24 hours a day to provide help to anyone. We also have a family store at 120 Northwest 10th Street in Ocala. On Tuesday to Saturday from 9 to 4, you can do your shopping, or if you want to donate, you can call 352-732-4469, and we'll even pick up. 352-732-4469. All funds generated by our store go into the programs here in Marion County to help the needy. Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Alstein with A Better You Healthcare Acupuncture and Eastern Medicine. As primary care physicians, we use acupuncture to treat back pain, arthritis, migraines, allergies, high blood pressure, thyroid disorders, hormone imbalances, stress, and more using all natural medical therapies. We treat the source of your problems, not just your symptoms. For more information, go to abetteryouhealthcare.com or call today to set up your appointment, 352-615-5566. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center to remind us of the importance of donating blood and to stress the fact that when you donate blood, you save three lives. Yep. This segment with Galen and Life South is sponsored by Pan Flooring, providing quality customer service and beautiful flooring. They've been doing that with a family touch for over 25 years. Go visit their spacious showroom at 1201 Southwest 17th Street by the bridge that crosses the railroad tracks over there on 17th and uh, tell them you heard about it on WOCA and thank them for sponsoring the segment with Galen you know good morning Galen hey good morning Larry Robin how are y'all pretty good where are you right now uh, I'm in Gainesville I'm uh, still driving but I'm in Gainesville all right uh, so uh, are you done for Christmas shopping already oh yeah yeah, yeah. well yeah. I mean stocking stuff but yeah done stocking stuff oh you still got to do the stocking stuff yeah, that is my that is my that's most it. fun part. That's my most fun part. I'm, and no, I mean I like the big stuff and the toys and stuff, but I like getting those things that I get into the stocking. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean uh, to be honest with you, I don't think I'll do it. My wife will do it. It's like socks and underwear for the boys. That's about it. In the stocking, we're done with everything else. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do, do, do they do they ever forget about the stockings? Like like they're so excited about everything no, else. No, you got to open those first. Oh, the start. Oh, the stockings go first. Yes. Oh, wow. You know, Rob, Robin posted a bunch of photographs. She's got some beautiful decorations at her and Ronnie's home. And uh, what I loved about it, if you go to Facebook and see it on her page, she wrote a little narrative, and everything has a history to it. Oh, it wow. It makes it so more meaningful. And the stockings on your wall mm -hmm. were actually your dad's socks at one time. Yeah, because he worked for the city of Cudahy, and in the wintertime, he would plow, and his feet would get really cold. So my mom knitted those for him to wear. They kept his feet really warm. Wow. <laughs> Big red socks. They're literally stockings. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah actually yeah. worn. That, this is a real... That's a beautiful touch right there. Thank you. Yeah. That is cool. Um, so how's the blood supply right now? Uh, neither or negative. Um, I think, you know, that's where we're going to be at for a while. Um, right now we really need all types, uh, O negative especially. So um, please just roll up your sleeve and give. If you see us. Stop by. You know, it's funny you said Nito Negative. I thought you were going to say Nito Galito. I thought that was like from the <laughs> 50s or something. That's Nito Galito. <laughs> How's the blood supply? It's Nito Galito, Larry. <laughs> Nito. I haven't heard the word Nito in a long time. You just said it. You said I, I said Nito. Nito Negative. I, I, I said the T. I, I, tried. I didn't emphasize the T. <laughs> That's <laughs> too funny. That's really neato, Larry. <laughs> neato. <laughs> neato negative. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, ha I have some something fun, I think, for you today. Um, it is entertainment endurance. These are like long, long things that you just will talk about later on. All right? All right. All right. Have you ever gone to a very, very long sporting event or a very, very long concert or anything that just took yeah. too long? Yes. Yeah, we went to a Christmas program. Um, I won't even tell you the year because that'll give it away for people if they're listening. Um, and then I'm just like, oh, this is. And and what the, what happens is, is your child's done, and you're like, oh gosh, and you you hope they're not done like first, because then you have to endure 
So he's next to the program, <laughs> and you hope he's not last, because oh, no. then you have to endure the entire program. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and it's just like, oh. And, and the sad thing is, is people will leave after their child's done, and you're like, well, that's not right. No, it's not. <laughs> Uh, well, you, no. th- that does happen a lot when you go to to an event like that, right? So, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't leave, though. I mean, you know, you gotta; those kids deserve your attention, just like your own child. Well, and, th- and this is why, even though we don't have any children in the student media festival, when we go to the student media festival, we stay there the entire show. Yeah, we do. Some people leave, but we stay. We often are uh, judges, I mean, not judges, I mean, but presenters. Mm-hmm. We're all, always judges, but the judges isn't a public thing. The We're always presenters in the younger category, like the kindergarten, et cetera, mm-hmm. and which is always right. first. Yeah. But we always stay through the whole thing. You know? Yep, and other people will leave. They'll get done presenting and just yep. go. I'm done. I'm out of here. Yeah, exactly. All right, so I have some, some long, enduring things. According to the official rule book of Wimbledon, the game of tennis does not have a set time limit. Oh, that's right. This means that under the right conditions, the game can carry on until the players either collapse or give up. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, let's see. When was this? Do I have the... Uh, let's see. John Isner and Nicholas Mayhut played a match for over 11 hours over three days. Wow. The fifth and final set spanning roughly eight hours over the course of two days. Yeah, because of rain, and uh, it was it was one of those marathon sessions, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, and, and and the thing is, is the more they played, the more people tuned in. <laughs> oh, it was, oh, it was televised. So long. Oh, they wanted to oh. see him collapse. <laughs> well, you- uh, it's hard, because it took three days because of rain. I mean, they didn't play that long. It just... It would rain, and then they would stop, and it would get suspended because of rain, and then they would have to come back, and uh, then they would play for like 30 minutes, and then it rained. So, yeah, it, it was a very long match, but a lot of that was because of the weather. Well, now, let me let me tell you about a NASCAR race. that I, I don't have the numbers here, and I don't know that it was the longest that I'm going to tell you about. It wasn't the race. It was me with, back in the day when I used to sit in the studio working the race, and there was a rain delay. Right. Mm-hmm. There was a rain delay. There was a rain delay. There was a rain delay. And I, I, I literally sat in that studio probably eight hours waiting for this race to start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ordered a pizzas, Galen. It was it was a pizza Saturday for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. By the way, you, you know, know what you have to do. You just get through it. By the way, do you know Steve Egan, the sports announcer? You know him? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I heard him this morning. I used to work with him, and I heard him this morning on the Florida News Network, so it was kind of nice to hear him. Florida. Yeah, he, he did a lot for the Magic basketball back right. in the day. Yeah, yeah. we sure used to did. have him on. Yeah. When I was up in Jacksonville, we used to have him on our show. Yeah, he's a great guy. All right, here's no the sports. slowest song yeah. ever. Listen to this. Uh huh. During the year 1987, a composer by the name of John Cage created a musical piece consisting of eight movements without a recorded tempo. It was not a mistake to not do that. His intention was for the musicians to play it as slow as possible. Oh. And so the song is called As Slow As Possible. Oh. With that in mind, with that in mind, there's a German group, and they built an organ to play the piece in the slowest pace so they could honor this, this composer, John Cage. They began the performance in 2001 on Cage's birthday. And they built, they're building the organ as they play it. So they're playing it so slowly, one note at a time. Oh. <laughs> Some of the pipes won't even be needed for decades. Some of the pipes in the organ. <gasps> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that just seems silly. I know, wow. it does seem silly. They're expected to finish the performance 639 years after it began. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. The next note change. The next note change. Yeah. September 5th, 2020. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Is that the dopiest thing you ever heard? Oh, that, that is, is silly. Dopiest How is that thing. even? You have to record the whole thing over 639 years. Yeah. And then I guess play it fast forward and you can hear it in normal pace. And the quality of the sense. recording is going to be different because you've got what? You've got reel to reel and then you go to tape yeah, and right, right, go right. to cassette and oh my gosh uh, that is dopey there was a guy who did Shakespeare alone he recited Shakespeare all by himself for 110 hours straight which breaks the record 
Oh, I would have fallen asleep. 110 hours straight. <laughs> I would have fallen asleep. Uh, wow. There's a, there's a movie called The Cure for Insomnia. The Cure for okay. Insomnia. Uh, let's see. How long is this thing? Um, the Cure for Insomnia is one of the longest films in existence. It's 87 hours long. <laughs> oh, wow. The, the film's purpose is a practical one, to help those suffering from insomnia find relief and sleep. Because when you watch a movie that long, you'll get sleepy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happens to the rest of your life, though? I mean, don't you have to, like, go to the bathroom or eat or go to the The store movie consists of a writer reading a poem... Which has 5,000 pages to it. <laughs> That's a whole movie. 87 hours. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's oh, my It is gosh. not available on Netflix, by the I way. I bet it's not. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> well, maybe that'd be a novel thing to get as a gift, though. They should put it up there. <laughs> Fair, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Did you watch it? Nope. But I got it. We, we need to take a little break. We'll be right back with Galen You know, and the longest stuff ever. <laughs> the weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating. There's no accident. For today, turning out partly sunny with a high of 69 to 73. It'll be mainly clear tonight with a low of 39 in the coldest inland spots to 48 on the coast. There'll be some fog patches late tonight into tomorrow morning. Otherwise, mostly sunny tomorrow with a high 67 to 71. Friday, a nice day with a mix of sun and clouds, high 70 to 74. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Think unique gifts are hard to find? If so, you haven't been to Downtown Jewelry and Pawn in Bellevue. Frank has something for everyone. Antiques, costume jewelry, diamonds, gold, watches, fine china, art deco pieces, and so much more. Located at 5445 Southeast 111th Street in Bellevue, behind Checkers, a trip to Frank's Downtown Jewelry and Pawn is a must. A little elf told me that the big guy shops there. You should too. And Frank does great repairs. Here's what you may have missed on the John Tesh Radio Show. All right, my intelligent friends, if you get an email from Amazon asking to confirm your order, don't click on it. It's the latest scam to steal your identity. Jewelry experts say the diamond engagement ring is out and non-traditional engagement rings are in. Even if the new relationship started off as a way to get back at your ex, it still makes people feel good. Being in a relationship gives you confidence and studies have shown confidence Helps us get over heartbreak faster. Intelligence for your life on the John Tesh Radio Show. Don't miss this stuff. Your home is safe, or is it? AA Lock, Dock, and Security. The name has been a staple in Ocala since 1985. Do you have the right equipment in place to have peace of mind when you are at home or away? AA Lock, Dock, and Security has the right people to install and monitor your home or business. Call today for a free on-site security analysis. Call 867-1965. AA Lock, Dock, and Security. 219 Northwest 10th Street. 867-1965. Your weekends are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. We are one more. Some new talent. Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. <laughs> Your weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are one more. This is Joe and Patsy Martone. Wishing you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. From W-O-C-A. The Source. Thank you, Joe and Patsy. 18 minutes after 8 o'clock, Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Don't forget to thank Penn Flooring for sponsoring this segment. And don't forget to donate blood. That's probably the more important message. Mm -hmm. Because you save lives. Galen, up in, are you in your office yet? Yeah. Yep, sure am. So talk about the longest things ever. Here's the longest piano recital. 27 hours. Oh, you're kidding. Why? 27 hours. Uh, a musician by the name of Gonzalez. <laughs> uh, he played straight the whole time? Yeah. He had 27 hours. I wonder if there was like an intermission. I wonder if that counts he, or if it's like consecutive. He played over 300 songs. Um, performing with 15-minute breaks every three hours. So there's your answer. Okay. How can he play that long without 15 getting 15-minute break. Oh. 
<laughs> and like and like toward the end there without like falling asleep and the quality of his playing probably went down the tubes. I have fallen asleep playing my accordion. <laughs> I did. I fell asleep. I was hitting all the wrong notes. You know, at some point, you know, he's just playing the triangle. <laughs> right? Or the cowbell. I had to think for a second. Yeah, right, 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 right. You know, at, at some point, that's exactly what, he can, what he's doing. Uh, he finished his uh, 27 hour marathon by playing Fly Me to the Moon. And people stayed there and watched the whole thing, watched him play? I don't know. Uh, no. No, I'm sure people left. His mother probably left. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. His rec- you know, at some point. His record was broken in 2010. A Polish pianist named Romuald Koperski played for 103 hours. Oh, my goodness. 103. <gasps> That's going to be really hard to break. Wow. It uh, It's crazy. Wow. In uh, on January first, two thousand, at Trinity Buoy Wharf in London, uh, a guy by the name of Long Player <laughs> started playing a song that has not stopped playing and isn't expected to end anytime soon. Its runtime is a thousand years. Oh, the, what? The difference is the the first song we had the notes were very very elongated. In this case, the the notes are normal length, um, but he has in. Incorporated algorithms, don't ask me what that means, to ensure that the song never repeats a single bar of music for 1,000 years. Oh my gosh, he's a mathematician. Who cares? I know. Who cares? Who cares? Wow. Yeah, I mean, seriously, who cares? A thousand years? Who cares? <laughs> really? So what happens? I mean, if- think about where were we at a thousand years ago, Larry? A where was I? A thousand years ago. <laughs> who cares? I was a sperm and a sperm and a sperm and a sperm and a sperm. <laughs> no, you weren't even a, yeah, you were You were probably in a completely different <laughs> realm of the world. I mean, who cares? Well, what happens when the power goes out? Does it start over? I have no idea. Does a generator kick in? <laughs> who cares? All right, here's the marathon <laughs> radio show. You want to hear the marathon radio show? Dutch radio, uh-huh. sta- Dutch radio station 3FM decided to honor the 10th anniversary of the station's existence by powering through the previous world record on the uh, attempt on the show. This is a guy named Giel Bielen. That's the guy's name. Uh, he was able to host the show for 196 hours straight before he finally fell asleep. <laughs> wow. 196 wow. hours just hosting the I, show. I, I just... Yeah, I'm still stuck on a thousand years. What's the point? I know. Uh, <laughs> you know, I mean, most people, let's be honest. I mean, you, you're a forgotten two generations. <laughs> well, you'll be remembered then. Seriously. <laughs> right? The, 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 my kids don't, aren't going to know who my grandfather is. <laughs> no. You know, I didn't really know who the guy was. So, yeah, I, I mean, come on, a thousand years? A thousand years. That's not a legacy. That's, I don't know, that's silly. And nobody's going to remember who's going to remember, oh, hey, this guy a thousand years ago started this and it's over today. Maybe <laughs> yeah. we'll have some big celebration. I don't know. I yeah. doubt it. Yeah. No, I doubt it too. Nobody will stand and in the blood. And the guy who started it, I don't think he'll care. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's... <laughs> and he's probably going to his funeral, but I'll live forever through my music of one note. Yes. All right, so which one? I have one more, and I'm just curious if any of these you'll take with you. I mean, you, you might remember the Thousand Year Song. You might remember the three-day tennis match. But you got to remember this last one, because this, I think, is the best one. The Letters of Utrecht is a poem. Okay, I've it's never a, heard of it. I haven't either. It was started on June 2nd, 2012. It won't be completed until 2350. It's being okay. written every day. It's a poem. Um, what they do is they take one letter and they carve oh. it. In, they carve it into a cobblestone, and they then place it each week. The poem is expanded every Saturday. A single letter carved onto a single square of cobblestone. Oh, that would drive me nuts. Sometimes a single word takes months to be finished. <sighs> this this is in the Netherlands. If you want to see it. Well, what if what happens if somebody gets sick? Do they uh, <laughs> does that not count? Uh, and super calories. You know, if I was to do that, okay, let, let's do it this way. If I was to do that, right? If I was say, well, I'm I'm working on my my great novel. Uh huh. Um, and it took me that long. Wouldn't you call me a procrastinator? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, every week you're adding another letter. 
and, and the reason so is it already written? No, no, or are no. You just making it up as you go. Well, this I don't understand because right now it's on its sixth poet. Mark Boog is the current poet. So I guess he just decides. I guess each poet decides what what they're going to do. But okay, it gives. But, but that means it's pre-written. It's already written. May, no. It, it, yes and no, because it could be. But but here's the reason for the for the length of time. Um, it gives the poet time to critically think about what's going to be the next word. Oh. And <laughs> and possibly even the next letter. <laughs> and. Okay. A, All right, so he's making it up as he goes. And an apostrophe is a letter. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you might you, you might be, oh, he's going to write your, Y-O-U-R. Oh, there's an apostrophe. Y-O-U-R-E. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, now that is so hysterical. There you go. So some of the longest. I, 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 okay. That's so silly. What else do they do? I'm working on, Larry, I'm working on a masterpiece. <laughs> um, How do you absolute know? Absolute masterpiece. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've been working on it a little bit. Every uh, six years, <laughs> um, I, I, I write something. But you know, <laughs> so. you know what? This is what, I, this is what I've observed. When you go to a museum like the Dolly Museum, and you see his early work, mm-hmm. and then as you get further into the museum, you see his later and later works, and you realize the guy was getting better and better and better. Or if you listen to the early albums by any recording artist, and then later on they become better and better and better. Mm-hmm. Not always, but but a lot of times. Then the masterpiece usually doesn't happen until like they're just about dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Except Elton John and Bernie. I, I do. Does anybody know? I, I could look it up real quick. How long yeah. did it take? Uh, was it Da Vinci? Who did the the Sistine Chapel? Da Vinci. Oh, Michelangelo. Michelangelo. All right. how, Michelangelo. How yeah. long did it take? Yeah, it took him a long time. How long? I hey, it remember. took him 12 years. I think that's right. Okay. I think it's 12 years. So that's, I mean, that's an example right there. Yeah, but he worked on it constantly. Uh, I mean, you know, and there was a, it wasn't meant to be, you know, that long, right? Oh, it just happened. Actually, it's a four years, it says, between 1508 four and 1512, yeah. Yeah, but there you go. all those images, I mean, it didn't take him... 12 months to draw one eye. (laughs) (laughs) But that is true. There's a lot of paintings up there. Yeah. And they all tell a story, right? Yes. Right. I mean, it's... Do you think Michelangelo was an atheist, by the way? No, I don't. Because you you know what I'm talking about when I say that the image of God reaching out to Adam is actually the image of a brain, a human brain? Yeah, I I believe that... uh, I think, like a lot of people, he he questioned his faith, and I, I don't think that was necessarily bad. But but, but do you think I, you can't? You, I do believe that he uh, believed that God existed. Yes. But do you, do you think he was trying to hide? Okay, because I when I see the image of God reaching out to Adam, and I realize the image of God is in uh, a human brain. It's, I don't know how many people know this or not, but it's, if you look it up, you'll see the image of God in the human brain. Mm-hmm. It's almost as if Michelangelo is saying God comes from the mind of men, not in, in other words, he doesn't really believe in God in the true sense. And I often wondered if he did it the way he did it to hide from the hide from the fact, you know what I mean, like a, like a what, do you, what do you call it, like snubbing somebody? Yeah. Snubbing the church, saying, look, I'm painting your church and I'm, I'm telling you what I believe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't. I, I mean, I, there's been a lot of books written about that thing, but that, that's almost like a conspiracy theory. No, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Well, the history part that I heard about him was that he loved being a uh, sculptor, and that he was forced to do the Sistine Chapel, or else they were going to kill him. And people, I never he heard knew. that one. That's that's. I never I heard had. that one. Yeah, that's. I, I'm pretty. I don't. I, I don't know if I believe that. I don't think you could write. I don't think you could do a masterpiece like the Sistine Chapel uh, under duress. I, I really believe that. Uh, and I've never been there in person, but the pictures you see and, oh, they're amazing. and people oh, yeah. who have amazing. been there yeah. have said that it's it's just you 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 feel you feel the presence of God there, and I don't believe he could have done that under duress. Mm-hmm. I do not. I I really believe that that was a that was a gift uh, to us through him from God. So. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
All right, Rob, we need a segue from things that take a long time to get done to donating <laughs> blood. Well, things that took a long time to uh, uh, get done, uh, that is the evolution of the way that blood is transfused through the uh, system from one person to another. But right now, it doesn't take a long time. Go to Life South Community Blood Centers because of all the technology and all the painstaking effort from everybody that loves human life. You go to Life South Community Blood Centers to donate blood. You're in and out within 20 minutes, and you can potentially save three lives. Beautiful. Thank you, Robin. You uh, if you gain where's the blood mobile today? Today, uh, we are actually at Rasmussen College today. Rasmussen and, College. Okay. And also we're at the military recruitment offices right there on Silver Springs Boulevard. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. All right. And if you, if you can't get there, go next door to the Cascades on Silver Springs Boulevard and donate blood at Life South, which is our new location for the Christmas parade. Yeah. Are we yeah. going gonna to be there it. again next year? You are invited whenever you want to come. You are invited. Yeah, we have an open door policy with you. That was fun. All right, and if you can't get there, go next door to uh, where, Robin and Danella? Right next door to Win Dixie. Win Dixie. Win Dixie. Galen, thank you for all you do. Um, if you have anybody at, at work that's Jewish, make sure you wish them happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Play the yeah, thank uh, you guys. Adam Sandler song. There all you right. go. There you go. Thank you, Galen. <laughs> all right, bye all. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. Hackers leveling some very serious threats because of a Sony comedy about the killing of the North Korean president. Those threats are causing enough worry that tomorrow's New York premiere of the movie has been canceled. The hackers, who call themselves the Guardians of Peace, say they'd orchestrate attacks reminiscent of 9-11 on any movie theaters that show the film. Fox Radio's Tanya J. Powers. NYPD Deputy Commissioner James Miller doesn't think the threat is real, but they're cautious all the same. We've also been down this road before with other films, uh, uh, some of the Bin Laden films, um, other controversial films where there have been uh, threats. Many movie theaters nationwide have already canceled movie showings. The school massacre in Pakistan claiming more lives as some of the critically wounded died overnight, including the school principal. She locked herself in a bathroom but couldn't escape the militants. More than 130 of those killed were children. Fox News, we report, you decide. news on your time. The Fox News iPad app is ready to go with all the great features from foxnews.com and our iPhone app optimized specifically for your iPad. Watch the latest clips from your favorite Fox News shows. Personalize the app by creating your own newscast using the video playlist. Listen to Fox News Radio live. Get local weather forecasts and it's all free. Go to foxnews2go.mobi That's foxnews, the number two go.mobi. Some people People would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never tried are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Howdy folks, R.L. here to tell you about Dairy Queen's new five-buck lunches. Four models to choose from. We now have a bacon burger with extra bacon, a chili dog, and our famous chicken strips, including chicken wraps, grilled or crispy fried. All include a fry, a 21-ounce drink, and a sundae. So come on down to Dairy Queen Silver Springs, where we always treat you like kings and queens. Let's face it, nowadays it can be hard to find American-made products, and that's something that Cabinet Sales of North Florida is well aware of. That's why they're an authorized dealer of Wellborn Cabinetry, family-owned and American-made since 1961. Cabinet Sales of North Florida is your answer for complete turnkey kitchen remodels and whole house cabinetry. Their cabinets are finished with solvent-based enamels for a long-lasting finish that's second to none. Available in an incredible selection of door styles and colors to choose from to turn your dream kitchen into a reality. In-house design and drawing services are available. Come by and see our displays for yourself. 
at the Floors of the Villages, 3935 County Road 216 in Oxford, or Exquisite Design Kitchen and Bath in Bellevue, right across the street from the Bellevue Library. So whether you're looking for bookcases, kitchen, bath, or outdoor kitchen, Cabinet Sales of North Florida is your one-stop source of quality cabinets. For a free estimate, call 352-427-2647. That's 352-427-2647. Cabinet Sales of North Florida. Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Alstein with A Better You Healthcare Acupuncture and Eastern Medicine. As primary care physicians, we use acupuncture to treat back pain, arthritis, migraines, allergies, high blood pressure, thyroid disorders, hormone imbalances, stress, and more using all natural medical therapies. We treat the source of your problems, not just your symptoms. For more information, go to abetteryouhealthcare.com or call today to set up your appointment, 352-615-5566. Hospice of Marion County has an urgent need for volunteers to share a conversation with someone, run errands, hold someone's hand. All you need is a willingness to help others. Our volunteers believe the blessings they receive far exceed the services they offer. Will you consider serving, caring, and making a difference? Call today, 873-7441. Hospice of Marion County, making more moments of life possible. When I started thinking about this year's Christmas greeting, I wanted to make it something meaningful. So here is my heartfelt wish for us all. Good health, prosperity, and the peace to be happy, whatever our circumstances. Remember the reason for the season. Merry Christmas. Visit the WOCA website at www.woca.com. You're listening to WOCA, Ocala. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! 